this is Professor Hall and I want to cover very quickly with you how to create an annotated bibliography. This tutorial is not intended as a replacement for those of you who would like to learn to write a bibliography from scratch. If you would like to do that, the textbook contains explicit information on how to create a bibliography yourself. This tutorial is showing you how to create an annotated bibliography using EasyBib. I've logged into my EasyBib account and you can see other tutorials for creating an EasyBib account which is very easy. And I have opened up my project on stem cell research. And this is the particular topic that I want to work on. So let's say that I go out and I research and I find this article and the article shows some excellent information about stem cell research and the new hopes of restoring sight, which is exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go up to the URL, I'm going to copy that URL, and then I'm going to go back to EasyBib. Remembering to use MLA 8, which is the newest version, I'm going to paste that URL into the tab and I'm going to click Cite It. EasyBib is going to look for that information. EasyBib found the article and you can see the article shows up like this in the box. I'm going to go back and make sure that I capitalize the key words in that title. So you can see where I've done that. Now in order to make this an annotated bibliography, I want to scroll to the bottom and I want to click add an annotation. This annotation is going to include information from the website that shows the validity and the reason and the subject matter of that article. So let's go back to the article. I don't need to include the entire article, so let's just say for example that I just want to include this part of the article in my annotation. I go back to EasyBib and I paste that into my annotation. I click create the citation and there it is with the annotation. Now let's say that I want to annotate an interview that I have conducted with a professional. Let's go to all 59 options and I'm going to click interview. Now I'm making this up, but let's say that I conducted a personal interview with an ophthalmologist who specializes in macular degeneration and I conducted this interview on this date by phone. I could also click in person however it is that I interviewed that person and then I'm going to go and do the same process of creating the annotation. I added the annotation and I added information about what that interview was about and I click create the citation and there it is. This was an interview conducted by me, interview with Dr. on February the 14th and there's my annotation. Now I look at my list and my list of resources is continuing to grow. I now have two research methods that are annotated. One is a, an interview. Second is an article. Next I'll find other information that is important to my essay and I will include that. When I've annotated everything I will do select all export, print as a Word doc, download for MS Word, the page will populate down in my tray, Word will open, and there it is. I'm going to remember in this document to enable editing in case anything in here is in all caps other than the URL. If any of this was in all caps I would want to change that. And there it is. 
After enable editing, I'm going to remember to put my name and course information in the upper left hand corner, save that as a Word document, return to the assignments area of the course, click on annotated bibliography, scroll down to the bottom and submit that saved bibliography. I'm going to remember to enable editing on that EasyBib Word document that was created and when I enable editing I will need to make sure that I put my name, course information, word count for this as well as the title of my essay for this annotated bibliography so that I can get full credit. That concludes this tutorial on the annotated bibliography.